But what's wrong with our country, Zambia? Why should people come in our country and then take over our country in a manner that they ill treat us, the locals? What's, what's wrong with us? Why should our leaders allow other people to mistreat us? And just when you expect that your leaders are going to stand for you, they stand with those people that are ill-treating you, the locals. Situations where Zambians who are working for foreign nationals are held bondage. They are held in places where they cannot be allowed to go and visit their families. Is that correct? And then when someone who is vested with the power to speak for the people tries to speak for the people, that is the person you start to castigate. Is that how it's supposed to be? Is that how we're going to live? No ways, no ways. This is not the country I would love my children to inherit, and this is not the country I, you would love your children to inherit. I don't think so. Unless you are so comfortable that you know that Nangufia Pena in another Navandu Kabutuka because I've invested elsewhere. Only when you have that kind of money can you be that careless. How can people come to your country in the name of being an investor? They invest in your country, maybe in like a business that the locals are supposed to be doing and start competing with the own with, with with the locals in a small business and you call it investment and it's not just that even when they're given that opportunity then they start selecting who enters their business premises by saying no you can't enter because you are black or because you are zambian in my country i can't even enter a place and enjoy the privileges or the services in that place maybe you're even going to pay if it's in a barbershop you're going to pay if it's in a shop, you're going to pay for whatever things that you're going to, to, to buy in there. Hello, by Sakanyat. No, you were to ingire. Panturi Muzambian. Mucharo chove. Who does that? No ways, guys. No ways. Please, don't tell me that we are being colonized again. Don't tell me that we are selling our country to other people outside. No ways. We can't go back to those days. No, we can't go back to those days. If this is colonialization or colonialism or colonial rule or whatever it is that you want to call it, I don't want to be a part of it. And I know that many other people out there are with me and they don't want to be a part of it. You can't sell your country to other people to just come and take over and they start mistreating your own people and you're there watching and you're there supporting them. Now they're even reporting in their countries in the news and celebrating the fact that you know, the fact that we are apologizing to people who are supposed to be apologizing to us. What do you call that, guys? No way. For this reason that I want to say Zambians must be protected in their Zambia. Zambians must be respected in their Zambia. And Zambians must enjoy their rights. A poor continent, we're a very rich continent, rich in natural resources. We have so many things that go out there to beautify and build other people's countries. And these resources, we have them, but we don't know how to utilize them. Why, where are we going wrong as Africans? I come back to my country, Zambia. We have so many minerals and we're just busy giving them away. We have all these natural resources, good things, copper, cobalt. Now we are hearing of gold. Are Zambians enjoying? Are Zambians privy to the deals that our leaders are going into to know where these resources are going? Are we benefiting? How can I benefit? Do I even have any advantage over a person from outside when it comes to benefiting from the local resources? These are the kind of things, these are the kind of questions we should be asking ourselves as Zambians to say, Nga ifwe, like I said earlier, God gave us this country. It is the only one we have. Whatever resources are here must be enjoyed by all of us. We should enjoy our rights and we should enjoy our resources, not people from elsewhere having an advantage.